So this is a quick video on a digital audio plate reverb board with preamp or karaoke board. Um, I'm doing this video because in typical um, Amazon fashion, a lot of the sellers out there don't even bother to tell you um, what each of the things can do, give you zero sense of directions, vaguely tell you what it, um, its capabilities are. So I figured it out and uh, so I'm kind of sharing with the community. And uh, kind of here's a, here's a rundown. So this one this one is by Costa, and it's spelled as it sound, um, C O A S T A from Amazon, and it's got a preamp built onto it, PT two twenty three ninety nine. So that's something that you'll find that you've needed if you've bought any of those um, mini mini uh, reverb boards that are that have a single um, potentiometer on them. Um, and then you found maybe it didn't seem to work, but it's probably because you didn't have um, because they claim to have a preamp, but they do not have a preamp. Um, classic Amazon fashion there, a um, little misleading, and then uh, you think that you're all messed up, but it's just them um, misadvertising things. So because it didn't have a preamp, then it, it won't um, probably give you any audio out if you touched it like I did and thought that I didn't need a preamp because it said it had one. Um, anyway, so this has one built on. Um, so it's it supports dynamic or electret mics. Um, the typical mics that you probably get, um, like with a um, personal amp or something like that, have electret mics. The dynamic ones are more expensive. Um, it does 16 to or 6 to uh, 17 volt AC input or 12 to 24 volt DC. I've done it with 12 volt DC myself. Um, it's 100 by 5 by 50 millimeters, so you can see by the size of my hand about how big it is. I've got um, I wear large gloves, uh, men's large gloves, so that kind of just gives you an idea. Um, so if you're going to try and stick this in a helmet or something like that, it probably can work if you do it vertically. Um, uh, it's just, you, you probably want to figure out how you want to do it. Um, anyway, I'll finish the specs before I talk through any more. Uh, it's got two mics in, so that's what we've got back here. Um, and what misled me from the be from the beginning was I was thinking it was a small board because I thought that this was 3.5 millimeter inputs because I, I didn't read it. That was on me. Um, but so because it's not 3.5, it's one quarter inch inputs. It means that the board is bigger than I originally thought it was, but um, I can I just bought a converter for my 3.5 input into it. But uh, aside from that, so it's got two of those, and uh, then it has two mic knobs. Um, so this controls the volume. I'll kind of zoom in a little bit. So these these control the volume on each of those inputs. And um, interestingly, it's uh, backwards. This one actually controls for the right side, and this one controls for the left. Um, but you could switch around the wires and and you know fix that whatever um it just came like that pre-wired uh let's see what else it has it has um so these are the interesting these are the interesting knobs here um connecting into these two slots you can see there so these two slots um the one controls uh the speed so whether it's a, a fast reverb whether it bounces quick or it bounces really slow and then the other one is the length like how long it's going to continue to bounce back and forth um, of course, I'll try all these out in a second, and I'm almost done talking through them here. And then the last thing it's got for inputs, like like I said, it's got the two mic inputs, but it also does have an auxiliary input that is wired. So it's a stereo one, so you can wire in whatever you want. And I've tested a mic on it, a mic with a preamp. Um, I tested on it, and it worked fine. So an auxiliary. Um, so this is not going to have a preamp attached to it coming in on this port, but it's got its own. Um, volume knob. So we've been through all the knobs and yeah, it looks a little uh, crazy with all these wires, but I bought it like this because I didn't know how I was going to position it. And if I put it in a helmet, I'd want to be able to locate um, the potentiometers or AKA these little turn knobs wherever I wanted them. Um, otherwise they would be locked into the board at this, at this level. And then you'd either have to take off your helmet or you'd have to have this at the bottom, which really wouldn't work out because it's just too wide to be sitting on a curved surface. It can sit vertically and probably be okay, but uh, it, it wouldn't work like this. So I've added more bulk to it like this, but I, I think it would, it would be beneficial um, in the context that I'm looking at. So anyway, that's that's kind of all the details. Now I'm just going to test it out for you. Um, again, you know, uh, that most of the things on Amazon, they don't, they don't have anything labeled. Um, and just to hash through by pointing at these individually, um, these did not come plugged in, these two items here. I've actually got a, and what I didn't mention was there's an out. No, it's labeled as an out and it's a stereo out. And all I did was just basically send it to um, a 3.5 millimeter um, female um, cord that I'd cut in half. And then I plugged a uh, something that has a, an amp onto it, into it. Um, so yeah, so this in, those are the two wire, the only two wires that come without any connections on them. So you can kind of do whatever you want with these. And then all the rest are, are pre-wired. So again, this is, um, this is the volume knob specifically for this input and then 
the next one, ooh, I might have gotten them mixed up. Um, but one of these are, uh, wait, wait, let me test it out. Okay, this is my Valium, which is that plugged into in these two. So the second one, yeah. So the second one actually goes to the left mic and then that's your Valium there. This is the Valium for your right mic input. And then over here, these two, this is this is your this is your reverb, the, the speed at which you do the reverb, and then the length of time in which it reverbs. And I'll do that in just a second. I think, actually, have I covered them all? So I've covered them all. And then, yeah. And then, so this is actually where the mic inputs are plugged in, is over here. So here are the ones that I really care about. So I've got my, I got my volume turned all the way up on my mic input. That's all I really care about. This one doesn't apply to me. This doesn't apply to me. I'm only looking right now for a, what's, what's coming through on my mic input and what kind of re reverb it gives me. So here, here's a test. So I think I've got it in the middle on, um, on this one and turned all the way down on, on the speed. So the speed is turned all the way down. I'll go ahead and turn the speed all the way up. You can hear it get really slow. So now it's delayed. And originally all you did was, it sounded like one thing because it was so quick. Now you heard it get really quick. And now it just sounds like it's bouncing off a wall. It's right in front of me. So this one I've got maxed out now. So it's now like I'm standing inside a big hollow metal tube that's very close to me. So now I'm gonna expand that tube. Test, 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 test. Correction, this would be an expansion of the tube. This was just the quality or the quantity or length of time here. But you can tell very clearly with an echo. So you can tell very clearly with an echo, in case you didn't understand that. So now I'm going to shorten the length of time. Okay. So now it's quicker. And we're going to get it. Try and get it as small as possible with maybe one echo. Test. 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 Okay. Yeah, that gets us one echo right there. Um, so you can play with it. Um, yeah, there's a variety of things you can do with it, but uh, yeah, so this is, it's it's reasonably decent. Um, so, I mean, I, I think of it in the context of like something like Darth Vader's helmet or something like that, um, as opposed to putting out um, 150 bucks for a multi-stomp. You know, can you cut corners by using this? You sure could. Um, this is about the same size as a multi-stomp um, and it's a lot cheaper. Um, yeah, so if you wanted, you could crank this all the way down so you're getting the fastest returns. So you're getting a long time of bouncing back and forth, but it's super quick returns. So it's like standing inside a pipe. Um, and then you could also cut it down a little bit more and then, you know, do, do whatever you want for um, sound effects. So you don't know the power of the dark side. Save yourself 150 bucks and you can go over this route. Um, the difference is, so the difference is, um, something that you'd have to think about is, like I said, it's 12 volts, 12 to 24 volts. So if you were looking at, I'm going to turn this down before. Um, so um, 12 to 24 volts is what you're doing DC on this one. So if you wanted to do something with a, um, a 3.7 volt LiPo battery uh, to conceal inside a helmet or inside armor or whatever, um, you could do that just with, um, of course, a 3.7 volt. And then you'd have to use an... Um, I want to say an up converter, but that's not the right term, but it's essentially a booster, a voltage booster. Um, so they're, they're out there and they're pretty, pretty inexpensive. I think they're less than 10 bucks. I know that some of the ones I got, uh, were, but I know I got some that were fixed for up converting to five volts at a fixed voltage. And then there are some that are up, up convert to different voltages. And I've got them in a box around here, but I won't bother breaking them out because you can find them pretty easy on Amazon. Um, so just to say it's doable if it's something you wanted to do. Um, and so now you have an idea of what this thing does, what the, what the different ports are and about how it's going to sound. Um, that way you don't have to go through the uh, labor of buying it and figuring it all out yourself. Um, so hopefully this helped out. Uh, if it did, uh, hit that like button and, uh, feel free to subscribe. Take care. I'm out.